This is a boring state, Nigeria. And I don't know what comes to your mind easily when you hear of a boring state. But what if I told you that the current a boring state was one of the places oil was first found in Nigeria in 1928? Alright, you know it's not everything that you can actually find on Google. And before you dispute this fact, you actually need to follow me and visit Enugu State National Archives. And you may be surprised to find some documentary evidences about what I just told you. Yes, Ebo State was one of the first states that oil was first found in Nigeria, but just not in commercial quantities. Ebo State is located in the southeastern part of Nigeria, predominantly occupied by the Igbo speaking race. It is the youngest state among the five southeastern states in Nigeria, created in 1996 from part of Enugu and Abia State. I spent a few days in the capital city of Abakiliki and I was quite surprised and happy with lots of infrastructure development that is happening in the state, despite its low federal location in comparison to other states. In the last three years, I think the government has focused its investment in infrastructure development building flyovers, roads, new government house, international market, world class, King David University of Medical Sciences, and the list goes on and on. The city metropolis has also been expanded by building new cities such as the Central City and ongoing construction of international airport, which the governor intends to name after the current president, Muhammad Buhari. And please, don't come to the comment section and try to ask me why would the governor name the Ebony in State International Airport after the current president Muhammad Obuari. Please, I'm not related to the governor. His name is David Omai. My name is David Onkwa. We are not related. We have different surnames. <laughs> One thing I found about the state is that transportation here is more expensive than the other eastern part of Nigeria or even southern part of Nigeria that I have, you know, traveled to as well. So it's quite expensive. And so one of the things that really makes uh, Abakleke very different from other states that I've been to in the eastern part of Nigeria, both the south-south and the southeast, is that they actually took some time to decorate most of their bridges, their roads and all of that. As you can see right there, the kind of a green carpet and all of the bridges well painted with different colors just to give it a very beautiful look. And on top of the bridge you have this iron up there. On top of the bridge you have this iron up there. That those iron are decorated with lights. So at night everywhere just glitters. That's just so so beautiful. And I'm sure probably in the future on top of that Ions, I think maybe they can put a kind of a covering, maybe kind of a green grass covering, or even plant a grass, you know, <laughs> and it will look very, very eco friendly and beautiful. Most beautiful thing with the roads infrastructure is the way they have tried to beautify the whole place to look very, very 
drainage or echo. So I showed you guys the bridge. Okay, so if you take a look at this place, you'll see the pavement had the all painted here. Great. And over there you have the trees. There, trees. And then here you have lights. So this is light. So this light on in the night. So all around here, you find light, you know, glittering in the night. Beside the normal street light they have up there. Okay. Ebonstate currently have a population of about 3.4 million people and economically the state internally generated revenue is based on agricultural produce such as yam, rice, palm oil and cassava crops. Although the state is more known for its rice production. And by the way, I have a video on that coming as well. Was, uh, this is what? Mass this rice. is mass, yes. Mass rice. This okay. one is mass. Okay. So is it the highest quality? Yeah, it is the highest quality mass. Okay. This one is CP. This is CP. After mass, you get this one. After CP. mass, you have this one, yes. CP. Okay. This one, we call it uh, CT. Not CP. CT. Yes. Okay. CT. That's what you have there, CT. Uh, yeah, the tests of this one and the foreign rice is not the same thing. Okay, which is better? Yeah, avocado rice is better because you can cook this one just anyhow you can eat it at the foreign rice, if it did not make it too to be sweeter, you can't eat it. Why? Because <laughs> it's just on our starch. There's also a few industries in the state that are into mining of lead, zinc, limestone deposit around Abakaliki. Also, available records from the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics show that the state have also increased its internal generated revenue by 82%, going from 7.5 billion to 13 billion naira. There are also a couple of tourist points that you find in a boy state and the prominent ones include the Abakaliki Green Lake, Wana Beach and Buru Salt Lake which is where the state derives its slogan, the salt of the nation. But my favorite tourist site is this. So at the first look you might think that this is like a heap of sand from the desert but it's actually not this is a rice hox this hox can actually be converted to a tourist point beside also using it to generate electricity and even making of tires talk about it in another video and this place is one of the places i shot some of the emotional video during this eastern documented door because of the condition of the people that are working there was very very surprising to me because hmm all right, just wait for the video <laughs> that you can get to see what I'm talking about. All right, so make sure you turn up your notification so that when the video drop, you get to see it as part of the Boeing State playlist. In my opinion, there is not a lot of commercial activity going on in the state, especially in comparison with other sister states. Nevertheless, with the rising infrastructure development in the state, probably in a few years' time, more investors will be attracted to invest in the state. I also think a boy state is a good place to invest, although right now most industries in the state are focusing on mining and agriculture. So every state actually has its own comparative advantage. For a boy state, I think it's agriculture. But if I was in a position to actually advise the governor or the government, and that would be for the state to actually put in investment and policies that will make a boy state a manufacturing hub in the southeastern part of Nigeria, as well as Nigeria as a whole. Because right now, when it comes to commercial activities, a boy state cannot be able to compare with states like Anambra and Abia State because of places like Aba, Newi, and Onicha. And also, when it comes to hospitality or when it comes to entertainment, it can also not be able to compare with places like Enugu and Oweri. So for me, I really see agriculture and manufacturing as a comparative advantage that a boy state can take advantage of, especially with the building of the new international airport they are currently building. Sorry, Muhammad Buhari International Airport. And don't ask me why, I already told you. I'm not related to the governor. All right, so we also have other videos about the Boeing State that we've already done and more is also dropping. So if you'd like to see more videos about a Boeing State, please check out the playlist here, as well as check out all the documentary tour that we're doing in this season. And that's it. If you get a chance to visit eastern part of Nigeria, please do check out Ebony State, especially its capital city, Abakiliki. It's a lovely place and probably you will like it.
to invest or probably to settle down. All right, thank you so much for being a part of today's video and I'll see you guys on the very next one.